Welcome to the MQTT Sparkplug Essentials video series. This series is designed to teach you about the MQTT Sparkplug protocol, why it's different to other popular protocols which you see on the shop floor today, and why it's one of the biggest trends you currently see and why a lot of large companies use Sparkplug to connect their factories to the cloud or connect factory to factory and gain a lot of um, benefits from using Sparkplug in production. The Industrial Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 is a key trend a lot of companies are currently pursuing. Digitization is one of the main things uh, that is on the agenda on a lot of operators and a lot of people responsible uh, for manufacturing um, or also in other industries, especially if we also look in the oil and gas industry. Um, or any other, let's say, physical asset industry that needs to connect their things to the cloud or between each other to um, yeah, gain the benefits people are looking for. For example, a lot of companies are looking for the um, improvement of the overall equipment efficiency, which is something a lot of leaders are looking for today. In the last few years, a protocol called OPCUA got really popular in the industry. And uh, by the end of the 2000s, people try to standardize on a, on a common language between the things so they can, can communicate properly and also connect to the cloud. The problem is that protocols like OPC UA, they really have a lot of complexity, are extremely heavyweight, and unfortunately, it's not the silver bullet people were looking for. On the other hand, a small tiny protocol called MQTT basically conquered the, the world for Internet of Things use cases and a lot of companies, especially in the connected car industry, but also in the connected asset industry, used MQTT to connect millions of devices to the cloud, have an extremely lightweight communication protocol and um, made sure that you have the most efficient communication channel established and also secure communication channel established um, that is possible. And if you are new to MQTT and haven't heard of it, there is also a video series we created called MQTT Essentials. We, you can find this on our blog. Uh, also, it, the link is below um, if you want are new to this. Um, because here in this series, we are building upon that. So, but coming back to MQTT, um, the thing is about MQTT, it's very lightweight. It's very well suited also for industrial Internet of Things uh, use cases, but there is still um, a problem that it's too generic and doesn't provide plug and play interoperability. And this is why a protocol was developed called MQTT Spark Plug, which builds upon the MQTT specification and provides plug and play interoperability for industrial IoT use cases and is now also conquering the world of industrial IoT and Industry 4.0. So, and this is why people felt, okay, there's really a better way than we had with uh, protocols like Modbus in the past or OPC UA or other legacy protocols. And here in this series, we will explore what it's about, what the fuss is about, how you and your use case can benefit from that and how the, the novel architecture will um, allow you build use cases you just could not build before and help you modernizing your shop floor, your manufacturing line, or your use case in general. But what actually is Sparkplug? Sparkplug is an open source software specification that provides MQT clients the framework to seamlessly integrate data from applications, sensors, devices, and gateways with the MQTT infrastructure in a bi-directional and interoperable way. So, in a nutshell, Sparkplug provides industrial IoT plug-and-play interoperability. An MQT Sparkplug has really three major goals. Number one, define the MQTT topic namespace. Number two, define the MQTT state management. And number three, define the MQTT payload. This means Sparkplug fills the gap of all the things the MQTT specification really yeah, didn't specify 
because MQT is so versatile, you can use it for most use cases. And now Sparkplug fills the gap exactly for industrial IoT use cases. So this was part one of this video series. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe below. We will upload the video once per week. And yeah, we hope you find this beneficial. Also give us a thumbs up and looking forward to the next video.